Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our second video. Today is Wednesday. It is a very, very exciting day because we have a CNC router. This is a Multicam 3000 series. It's actually a refurbished machine built in 2009. Just got delivered this morning. So far, it's only been leveled. Um, so we're waiting on electrics, dust extraction and compressed air before we can actually turn it on and do training and start using it. So we're hoping that's gonna be another two weeks maximum. And then until then, we just get to look at it. And what this is gonna allow us to do is bring all the currently outsourced uh, CNC routing that we do in-house, allowing ourselves to do it, which is gonna bring more control, more flexibility, allow us to do prototypes and loads more exciting things. So I'm just gonna do a very quick walk around of the machine and point out some specs. So you can see the vacuum bed sticking through just there. And what that does is behind the back, there is a vacuum pump, which draws air out of the vacuum bed, sucking your material down onto the bed, acting as work holding and holding your, your workpiece in place. We also have four controllable zones for the vacuum bed. So using those valves, you can select which part of the, of the bed is pulling vacuum and holding the workpiece down. So if you're just using this corner, for example, you can turn off the other four zones and it will have a stronger hold on that one corner. It also has an 11 horsepower spindle. This takes HSK tooling, which you can see over here, we've got 12. And we also have a tool changer here, which holds 12 tools and allows it to rotate and pick up whichever tool it wants to. Here is the control panel for the machine. So this is where you turn it on, choose a program, whatever. But the file itself is drip fed from your computer, in this case here, via an ethernet type cable effectively into the electrical cabinet and that drip feeds your file. So that what that means is you can have a, effectively an unlimited file size running on the machine. Whereas normally with this kind of style control, you can only hold like an eight megabyte file, for example. A lot has happened. Progress has been made on the electricals, which you can see running around the entire room. We've got an air compressor and a dust extractor. So let's start off with the electricals. The electricians have been in um, for four days so far and have made very good progress of that. Got cables going up and over, all the way around, over to the machines in the corner. Initially, we thought we could have the cables running up and kind of straight across using the trusses, which would have been cheaper and a bit quicker. But we decided against that and we decided to put them along the wall just to future-proof it, because if we get more machines, then they will be going in this corner. Uh, moving on to the compressed air. So this is the air compressor. This is an ABAC spin 11 kilowatt, I believe, air compressor. I think it outputs about 52 CFM at 10 bar. Why do we need an air compressor? Well, the CNC router uses compressed air for a few things. Firstly, the tool changer. The mechanism that holds onto the tool and the spindle releases it and allows it to effectively drop the tool and pick up another one uses compressed air. The dust hood moves up and down using pneumatic cylinder there, so that uses air. There are three pop-up pins, one there, one there, and one in the far corner over there, which all use compressed air again. And finally, the mister just here, that also uses compressed air. So that's the mister unit. And those are the nozzles there, which can point down at the cutting head. Next thing, dust extractor. The time lapse of this did not do it justice for how long this took to build. This came at 11 a.m. on the Thursday, 
and I finished it at about 6 p.m. I did have lunch breaks and other stuff going on in the meantime, but still, it took a long time to build. This is a Laguna Seaflux 3. The 3 stands for 3 horsepower. So the dust comes in here, gets spun around in the cyclone, and the larger wood chippings get separated out and fall down into this bin here. And check this out. And that's how that works. And then pull the bin out, and that's where they'll all land. The lighter chips work their way up. I don't know if you can see, but there's like a, an inside cone. So the dust goes round and then gets sucked up into that, the next cone, which goes up along here and into the fine dust filter. And all the fine dust lands down here and out with the filter comes the clean, breathable air that won't do any damage to your lungs. Whoa, this is chunky, this. We'll have a 90 degree going like that. And then ducting will go up across and then kind of finish hovering over the middle of the machine and then we'll have flexible ducting like this coming down from the solid spiral steel ducting down to the mesh down to the machine. That's the next job, putting together all the ducting. So we've got fittings there, all of those. That's a long tube, there's another shorter tube there. As with the compressed there, I've no idea what I'm doing, but fingers crossed it'll work. Everything else so far has kind of gone to plan, so I'm hoping this will as well. We've done a bit of work on the assembly area. So we actually built our first, we've built our first set of units, which you can see here using assembly tables for the very first time. Totally different, incredible experience, so much better than building them on the garage floor. In other important news, we have named the CNC router. He is called Malcolm, Malcolm the Multicam. So say hello to Malcolm. Hopefully once the electricals are all done and I've done all the ducting for the dust extract, so we'll be able to do training for, the, for Malcolm um, middle or end of July, hopefully. Anyway, that's all from me. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Any comments and feedback is much appreciated. Subscribe if you want to follow along our journey. I'll catch you guys in the next one.